hi guys welcome to another video today i'm going to show you how i make um my avocado soup um this soup is for people with delicate skin like um kids and you know all everybody who is allergic to one or two things so this is my frozen avocado juice i added um neem powder to it and i blended it and i froze it so as you can see it's frozen here so have my gloves on i'm using a stainless steel spoon and i've also created um, a water bath that is blocked really because i don't want the light to heat the avocado because i don't want to lose all the goodness it comes with so i'm going to add uh, my soda to it i'll give you um the recipe in the description box so you can check that one out so i'm going to add my soda to it and as you can see i have my oils heated here i'm using tallow 20 percent tallow and 80 percent olive oil and i'll be adding um oat milk to, to it then i'll add a little lavender essential oil to it for relaxing and the oat milk will be for the smoothing effect so i'm going to add my soda to it to melt it down make sure however you are doing this is well ventilated there are no kids and pets running around make sure you have your protective worse on and please if you've not um, prepared soap before I'll be sharing some basic soap making tutorials I advise you get yourself familiar with those ones before you try venturing into this so as you can see so that will melt everything the oil is at room temperature already though so um since my avocado is frozen that's why i just decided to melt my oils before the whole thing so i'm going to add the last three And I'm sopping close to a sink, so um, in case I just want to um, clean something, I can easily do that. So, okay. I'm not going to add any color to this. I'm just going to let the avocado have its own color so if you'll be using only avocado the color will be different because mine is avocado and neem leaves so the color will be a bit different so i finished mixing um dissolving our lye in our avocado so this is how mine looks like so now I'm going to keep it down to cold a bit. So since I'll be adding ground oats, I'm adding mm, I think two tablespoons. So um, I do a tablespoon to 500 grams of oil. So since I'm doing a thousand grams, oh, it's almost finished. So I'm going to add additional one okay because I wanted to incorporate well before um, I mix my oils and other stuffs that's why I'm adding it to my oil shredder so I'm going to mix it in well you can use a stainless steel spoon you can use the wooden spoon as I'm using or you can use maybe a clean stick or something or you can use a spatula so I'm going to use my stick blender to mix it well
Okay, so it's mixed in well. Um, it's well mixed in, as you can see. So, since now everything is well melted and everything is well blended in let me put my stick blender down i'm going to add our puree or avocado juice to our social our oils so let me blend it in. so because it is um Because it is high on olive oil, it will take time before it traces. So, and since I will be using smaller molds like this, I need to have another cup here. I can just pour in and pour in bits. Okay. Okay. It's already tracing. So let me add my. I'm adding lavender essential oil, just a little. Thing is already tracing. So let me blend it. It's tracing so fast. I don't know why, but as to why it's this way, seriously, I don't know. This is so strange. I don't know if it's because of um, the other stuff in it. I don't really know what is wrong with this so I'm going to leave it like this let it go through the heat a bit then I'm just going to do it and not a heat process so Joe but <clears throat> I'm just going to let it go through the heat a bit then hi guys so I'm bringing you back um, I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and it's like kind of a heat process something so i'm going to <clears throat> use this mold because i'll not be able to um, use the other small mold and i'll just tap it when i put it into my bowls i wanted to use um this leaf like bowls but unfortunately it's so thick for me so oh, i'm just going to use these ones i'm sure it will come out with a very very beautiful color so so i'm going to finish up packing it into the containers and i'll bring it back and then i'll let you see what i did hi right, so after an hour <laughs> These are my soaps. It's 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 far from one of the world's beautiful soaps. It's so something else. But what matters is um there are no chemicals in it, and it's safe and it's good to use. Um and I remember I kept on saying fragrance, fragrance, fragrance. Please forgive me for this recipe. I didn't use fragrance. I only use lavender essential oil. I'm working on four soaps today four different recipes today and some of them got um fragrance with them so i think it just keeps on just hitting me and i also kept on so i use lavender essential oil for this it's not really beautiful but hey i hope the camera can really focus well you can see so i just want to test how bubbly to be so these are the stuffs i used and um, also, these are the what I got when I cleaned my soup. So this is just ordinary water, ordinary tap water. Let me add this. 
okay that's enough so let's just I'm using my other hand for the camera so I can't um, use my it's so slimy okay. I've been using this recipe for some time but I'm serious I don't know why today it just decided to do this on me but I wish I could use my two hands that we can test how popular it will be. It has got bubbles, but it's kind of light and small. So I'm going to keep it for um, three weeks, three or four weeks. Then I'll start using them. So please, if you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed yet, kindly do. Hey, and, and I also love to read your comments. So please try your best and leave a comment for me. I'm so much grateful. So until then, happy soaping.